it's Liz at Youngsters World. I'm just going to do a little video for you on next stage car seats. We're getting messaged um, and phone calls all the time when people want to move up. Their little little one has grown out of their infant carrier or they're just a bit too heavy for the infant carrier. And mum wants to have something that stays in the car. Now, the main question is usually, should I buy one of the car seats that goes to four or should I buy one of the extendable car seats that goes to seven or 12? So we're just going to compare the two very quickly for you. Um, I'm going to show you today the Maxi Cozy Mika. Now, this is an eye size tested swivel car seat, one of our most popular. And something that we'd always recommend to parents is to keep your little one rearward facing as long as possible. It is the safest method for them when they are young to travel rearward facing. And most of these um, swivel car seats will uh, be tested to keep your little one rearward facing up to four. But we would say as a minimum, you should keep them around um, to 15 months. Now, the new size, eye size legislation says that you must keep your baby rearward facing to 15 months by law. Now, these being ice size, if you've got um, Isofix points in your car, we would recommend that you use an Isofix car seat. It just makes the fitting so much easier for you. All you do is, if you've had the base before, you'd know, but you just pull the little yellow prongs out. There's one on each side and they will locate onto your Isofix points in your vehicle. That one didn't locate. I don't know whether my camera lady got it that time because I think I missed it. So they'll locate onto your ice fix points in the vehicle. And then what you do is you push the seat back as far as you can go. So you get a nice tight fit to the back of the seat there. Then you'll have your support leg, which will come to the floor. And the indicators are in different places. But on this particular one, it's indicating on the top that it's green. So you know that it's safely fitted. Very, very easy to fit. The big benefit of this type of seat the swivel um, seat is the swivel feature of course and to get I'll just move that because I just have a habit of knocking that off my display this particular one has got the button at the front and it just enables you to swivel it towards you to load baby in and out now the majority of these car seats are from birth to four so they all come with a insert of some description to use for a newborn um, I'm showing you the Maxi Cozy Mika here, but we also sell the Joy Spin, the Joy Eye Spin, the uh, Silver Cross Motion, the All in All Rotate. We've got a, a, quite a few spinning car seats and they're all going to work in much the same way. Um, some can be better than others in terms of the padding that's in there, depending what age you're putting your baby in. So if you're putting quite a young baby in, obviously this has got a lovely newborn support, but then you would take that out for an old child which will give you a lot more room in your car seat and as baby grows then this will go up and you can see you've actually got quite a good sized seat so this can be used rearward facing or forward facing like we said rearward facing to a minimum of 15 months but then you can spin forward facing as well so the ease of use on these spin seats are fantastic i would say we are selling more and more spin seats than anything but they generally will only last up to four there is a couple on the market that go longer but generally speaking they'll only last up to four so that's a basic spin seat for you um, now we're just going to look at the joy stages which is one of the seats that goes from birth to this one goes to seven but you can get some that go to twelve Now, one thing to say about these is, although when you look online, they might say they're Isofix, this one isn't Isofix, but the ones that do have the Isofix points, when you're fitting it rearward facing, you still have to belt it, a seat belt fit it. And as we've just had the conversation about keeping children rearward facing for longer, just need to bear in mind that you will have to fit it with a seat belt in those initial stages. Still has its... Um, newborn support in there and this one is actually made up of little pieces so you can take it apart you could leave the headrest in and take the cushions out there's cushions in the back that you can take out just to leave the padding in so to fit this one i'm going to fit it yeah we'll fit it rearward facing first and then i'm going to fit it forward facing so to fit this rearward facing what you have to do on this is you recline your seat because generally speaking you're going to have a younger baby in with it where we're facing and your seat belt I'm going to 
pull these straps out so they just don't get in the way. And then what you do to fit this rearward facing is the seat belt will go under this flap here. So it will go across the front of the seat and the lap bit will go through here. And plug in to there. And you get that nice and tight and then it will go round the back and through the guides. So you're going to have a blue guide there and a blue guide here. And if you're going to be fitting it from with the seatbelt from the other way, you're going to be fitting through the opposite blue guides. Whoops. Then this little pad will go back over there and then you can put your seat pad over the top if need be for your little one. Now, one thing to mention about these type of seats is when they're fitted, you can't adjust it um, whether to sit up and lay down because once you do, it changes the slack of the belt. Difficult to show you in this position, but I can show you in a forward facing position. So that really is going to be fitted like that for your little one. When you're putting baby in and out, it's not quite so easy to put them forward facing. You've obviously got to twist to get baby in because you haven't got that swivel feature. I just fit this in the forward facing position and I can just discuss with you about the adjustment of the backrest. So when you want to fit this forward facing, you have to fit it like that. You have to fit the seat belt through the back here. It's a little bit fiddly to start with. You have to; these are things you have to think about if you're wanting to move the um, car seat between the vehicles. That it might be a little bit fiddly to get through the back there initially, but it will plug in like that, and then you can go back through. And what you have to do is take the slack out the seat, so you put your weight on there to pull it forward as tightly as possible. Then if the camera lady just comes around the side, hopefully she can see that, that I've just put that through there, which is locks off to make it nice and tight. So when it's fitted with a seat belt, it should be nice and tight in there, which it is. But what I was trying to explain was, if we fitted it in the upright position, you now cannot recline. Hang on a second, are you running out of space? No, it's beeping. <laughs> Is it? Sorry. <laughs> there we How's go. That? Is that stopping it? Yeah. <laughs> so um, you can't recline this seat once it's tightened up. What you have to do is take the slack off your belt out of there to enable you to recline the seat. And then you'd have to re-tighten your belt through. So it's one of the features that you do need to bear in mind because if you fit this in a recline position and then you put it in the upright position you're obviously then taking away the slack of the belt and then it's not a safely fitted seat so it's something to bear in mind although they're good value and going forward because you're lasting all the way up to seven you haven't got the features that you have with the other seats where they're very very easy to recline and turn etc um these generally are not um, eye size tested seats either so they're at the older legislation the r44 legislation just it means it hasn't had all the side impact and roll testing on the um one two three or one two stage one two which means up to seven one two three means up to twelve so that type of seat now i hope that helps any more information on the swivel car seats or the stages car seat then let us know we obviously stock loads and loads of different ones but i was just trying to give you a quick overview of why you might buy one over the other and then get back to us if you need any more help thank you